All right, what is dual coding? Um, dual coding basically means that we can take information two different ways in our minds. Um, we have two different channels. Basically, I, I like to think of it as two halves of our brain, isn't, even though it's really not two halves of our brain. But we can take in memory and two, we can take in information two different ways. One is through our verbal memory channel, which takes in words and text, and a nonverbal memory channel, which takes in things like images, graphs, icons. Um, and these are all taken in through our short-term memory, or what's called our working memory. Um, so dual coding basically tells me that I can learn, see, take in information two different ways. I have these two different channels to take in information. Um, what becomes really interesting is when you add cognitive load to the equation. Um, what cognitive load means is that basically cognitive means thinking or thought, um, the way we think, what's happening in our minds when we think. Um, so what cognitive load means is that there's a certain amount of information that we can take in before we become overloaded, before our brain just says, uh, I can't take any more, I'm done. Um, I can't remember anything more. Um, research basically says we can learn between like five and seven concepts um, before our mind, and you can maybe get a little more, a little less, depending on how interesting a subject is to you. Um, so we can hold about five to seven concepts in our working memory at one time. Um, you know, for something like if you find, you know, math really boring, you can probably hold like three to five concepts in your he head at one time. But, you know, I tell like the sports player, like who is really into whatever sport. Um, I mean, I'm really into surfing. So let's say I can probably hold like nine surfing concepts in my head at one time. Um, just to use that as, a, as an example. But... What happens is each of these memory channels, verbal and nonverbal, can hold a certain amount of information. Um, and with my chart here that you're looking at, um, the more concepts you hold, uh, eventually it overflows. I like to think of it as a cup of water, you know? So um, you can fill a cup of water up so much before it starts overflowing. Same thing with our working memory channels. Um, so with dual coding, basically what this tells us is that I can give someone information using one cup, which would be like just text. And when that cup overflows, that's it. But I can actually double that or increase better use memory if I take two cups, a verbal cup and a nonverbal cup, and fill them to the top rather than just one. Um, so that's really dual coding in a nutshell, very quick description of it, and a very quick description of cognitive load. There's much more to that. Uh, significantly more in the research, but I just wanted to kind of uh, create this little video for my classes so that I could send it to them so they can kind of remember or at least be able to conceptualize these concepts.